Welcome. 2020 International Forum for One Korea. Greetings to all my friends in Korea, here in the United States, and around the world on this important milestone day commemorating Korea's independence and the quest for a free and unified peninsula. My warmest regards are extended to the virtual gathering, to all those assembled leaders of Action for Korea United, to my good friend Global Peace Foundation leader, Dr. Hyun Jin Preston Moon, Dr. William Parker of the East-West Institute Board, and to each of you. Throughout my professional life, I've had a deep interest in Korea and a heartfelt connection with its people. I believe that today Korea stands at an important transition point. While the peninsula remains divided, this forum is examining new opportunities for a free and unified Korea as we witness global changes and new emerging alignments in 2020 and beyond. In this context, the U.S.-ROK-Japan alliance must remain strong as an important foundation for peace and prosperity in Northeast Asia. More than ever, scholars and policy experts faced with the failure of past efforts to improve the situation on the peninsula see Korean unification as the necessary way forward, even though it will be challenging to achieve. It makes Dr. Hyun Jin Preston Moon's book, Korean Dream, recently re-released in observance of the centenary of Korea's 1919 Semil independence movement, most timely. One of the most noteworthy and original aspects of Korean Dream is its emphasis on the importance of an overarching vision for a unified Korea, and then the principles that should guide that vision, and the need for a vigorous civil society to play a central role in the pursuit of unification. I was pleased to be invited by Dr. Moon to write the foreword to his book, which stresses the shared value of history and culture that have bound the Korean people together for thousands of years. It emphasizes the principle of Hongik Ingan, which means to live for the greater benefit of humanity, a principle that is associated with the very origin of the Korean nation. This principle has served as an inspirational ideal and a moral touchstone throughout the course of Korean history. It highlights the need to move the pursuit of unification outside the exclusive sphere of government to engage the support of the Korean people as a whole. Dr. Moon examines in the first instance the people of South Korea, followed by Koreans in the diaspora, particularly in the United States as well as in Japan and China. Civil society organizations are the instruments that are central for creating this engagement. I have long been an advocate of the importance of the private voluntary associations that form civil society and that are the expressions of a healthy, vibrant democracy with widespread citizen involvement. The mobilization of citizen groups around common principles, particularly with a common goal of unification, will have huge significance for the future of Koreans in both parts of the Korean Peninsula. Dr. Moon describes the beginning of such a process through the establishment of Action for Korea United. This coalition of organizations committed to developing a peaceful, prosperous, and united future for the Korean people. I've had the honor of participating in a number of meetings of this organization, and I can attest to the energy and hope generated as a unifying set of principles that can be translated into practical initiatives. I congratulate all of the AKU grassroots leaders in Korea and across the diaspora in your steady progress and presence on this anniversary of Korean independence. Finally, it's my conviction that the bedrock of a successful civil society 
is belief in a divine being, and that this belief forms a basis for principled human interaction. That's also the view expressed in Dr. Moon's Korean Dream book, as it looks to the foundations for peace in the future, not just on the Korean Peninsula, but in the wider world as well. And so today, I salute and join you in this task in support of the destiny of the Korean people to live in freedom and prosperity as one nation furthering peace throughout Northeast Asia and the world. Kamsamida.